Hi, I'd like to tell you a story that's made a big impact upon my life. Sometimes people will speak into your life and they will say words to you that at the time you don't really uh, understand the impact that it's going to have. And yet those words actually uh, remain with you and they never actually leave you. <clears throat> Now, I had a grandmother who was a Christian woman, and uh, when I came out here to Australia, I was only 12, and she had partially, she'd helped rear me up, and um, she, I was in an orphanage, and they decided to send some kids out to Australia, and I was chosen. And so my grandmother uh, sent me off, or met me uh, at the boat, and said farewells to, to me, and that was the last time I saw my nan, and I loved her, and she was a a very, very, very lovely person. Um, her parting words to me as I got on that boat, never to see her again, was she said, Roy, there are two things that can ruin your life. Now one of them is alcohol and the other one is the wrong woman. I still hear a voice as she said to me, Roy, if you promise me that you won't drink alcohol, God will give you the right woman. And, uh, I got on the boat and promptly forgot what she said. And uh, um, But that, well, those words, they still ring in my heart today. This is not for everyone. This is for a kid who went out to Australia at 12 years old and started work at 13, went into the country not knowing anything about anything and uh, and then eventually ended up in a shearing shed you know with uh, heavy drinking guys and all of those things and everybody said have a drink, have a drink and I never did and I was able to stay away from all that stuff and my grandmother's words still ring in my heart and People make their own choices, but I've made my choice and, and I choose not to be involved or worry about alcohol. Um, this is my personal thing, but a, a word from someone that really loves you can make all the difference in the world. And, and I believe that was a word for God for me personally, and I'm so thankful to my grandma uh, that she said those things because God did give me the right woman and, uh, and I've got six wonderful children, 14 grandchildren, I love them all and I'm the richest and richest of men and I thank you, thank my grandma for those words to me personally. Yes.